ladies and gentlemen, you already know what day it is today. Demon Slayer Season 2 Entertainment District Arc, bro. Yo, last episode, man, was a movie. Jesus Christ. It, it just it looked so, so good, man. Ufotable, once again, man, putting that tax evasion money to good use, bro. I'm expecting to see the same amount of quality as we go forward in this arc. But yeah, dude, uh, yesterday was kind of like half closure with the Rengoku stuff. You know visiting his father and you know his brother you know you know just sealing the deal on that chapter of you know the demon slayer story and then the second half was kind of us introducing uh you know us to uh tangan which like i said he's kind of a very interesting character you know he's very um different from what i expected him to be but yeah he seems like pretty fun i'm really excited to see like i said how he molds with the cast exactly how his uh chemistry is going to be with the rest of the gang so yesterday we left off we're about to actually go into the entertainment district arc so like we actually haven't really ventured into anything yet so it's kind of like like i said we were kind of just prepping in the last episode so today's episode is called infiltrating the entertainment district so i'm expecting to see some hype ass shit or you know just just some cool stuff in general but yeah dude i'm excited from what i see from the opening it seems like this arc is going to be very colorful very vibrant just a lot of things going on man i'm really excited to see exactly what we got in store because people said yo like i said man if you thought the mugen train arc was good you haven't seen nothing yet until you get to the entertainment district arc so yeah everybody that's about it and if you're hyped as much as i am make sure to leave a like and subscribe like always guys it really helps the board a lot you already know the deal though hey without further ado let's just get into it this man really had to do a whole ass jojo pose to explain oh okay wow he just roasted the fuck out of us he literally said i am god and you guys are trash so you listen to me oh my god dude the artists are going off right now okay yes T tengen you are god okay we will listen to you i guess what is he the god of i don't know sound i guess oh wow i couldn't have predicted that flashiness flamboyancy what a surprise tengen i'm still curious to see how the hell this sound breathing works like does he just shoot like fucking bass boost ear rape at us honestly at this point i can tell we're all just gonna get along just fine oh he's gonna go supersonic speed yep i love how he's just like follow me you know do exactly what i did this man is zooming he got that sonic speed all right here it is bro we off we off episode two infiltrating the entertainment district man i do know we only have like well i guess it's listed as 11 but i, te I technically i guess it's 12 since the first episode is kind of like two episodes put together so you know damn this place looking fancy dude it's looking exotic that's the word for it it's looking exotic as hell yo zenitsu he just said don't get out of the carriage now we trying to explore right now we really about to get lost out here this man zenitsu is not hearing anything tengen has to say he's just like fucking stunned by what he's seeing oh this man yo they really put out the we got candy card okay what the fuck dude this man about to get seduced out here zenitsu get it together we only have eyes for nezuko remember i like the you know i like the look though the exotic look and all that stuff like with the makeup and the hair everything looks nice hey man prostitutes or not they gotta get their money somehow man you feel me hey they fucking hustling out here first look for my bride what they're really just gonna tell him yeah go look for my wife out here that, that man zenith is like yo this shit ain't fair bro i'm trying to get with the ladies too yo what the fuck dude jesus this man fucking is molding right now holy shit okay so his wife has infiltrated the entertainment district guard, so they're working together right now this man got three of them oh good okay. it's probably the three women that we see in the trailer zenith you never heard of a what's it called polygamy before bro it's not that uncommon. I love how Zenitsu and, and, and Tangan keep like butting heads. It, like, it makes for great comedic fucking scenes. It's so cool. Yeah, we saw some of this in the, the trailer in the previews. This is bad. <laughs> Yo, this man, he's like, yo, they're probably dead, right? Like, this shit is comedy right now. Why is everything... Yo, I'm sorry. This arc is so funny so far. It's, it's so funny. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude, the disguises, I think, need a little bit of work. Yo, even the guys, he's about to have a heart attack. He's about to kill over. He's like, hold on, dude. I, we got to think of something else real quick, you know? Oh, hold on, Tangan, he has a different hairstyle right now. Okay. You looking nice. Damn, that man looking clean. Okay, he looking fresh. I can, I feel you. Hey, dude, don't worry. Zenitsu and Nosuke, we can figure something out, bro. This, <laughs> this man Zenitsu's like, yo, you're too sexy, dude. Stop fucking with me right now. Damn, she got like some fucking 20 inch sandals on. God damn, Zenitsu. Yeah, bro. Yeah, this man and Nosuke is getting kidnapped out here. Honestly, yeah, I don't trust this girl at all. All right, Zenitsu, just, 
<laughs> it's just you and Tanga right now, bro. Damn, dude, Zanitsu's really homeless out here. Ain't got no job, nothing. See, yo, they're even like, yo, and no skin, dude. You look fucking beautiful, like, naturally. And that, that boy Zanitsu killing that shit right now, okay? He's using his molding powers right now. Then they gotta roast him like that, too? Like, damn, he's ugly? That boy Zanitsu's on his revenge arc right now against uh, Tengen. This arc took a turn I honestly didn't expect. Now everyone's just like... <laughs> What the fuck is going on right now, bro? God damn, dude, this boy Donjo's getting fucked up right now. This, this dude has the balance of a god. Jesus. Ah, she knew. Okay, so basically doing the digital dash on the ass. Just running away. I'm not paying shit. I'm, I'm out of here. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, so one of Tengen's wives ran away without paying their debt. Oh, she knows something then. She knows something. She's my what, Tanjiro? How, how are we gonna get away with this? Oh, ha! <laughs> Are you kidding me? This man Tanjiro is so fucking pure hearted. He couldn't even lie. Yo, the artists were just having fun, I feel like, with this episode, dude. Like, drawing all, like, the funny faces and all, like, the different out there expressions. Okay, she just starting to heat up a little bit, man. That man Tengen's out here. This shot is really cool, though, with Tengen. I like it a lot. Oh, yes, Tengen, you're right. The reason I know is uh, the trailers. That's what I'm hoping for. I want an ultra flashy fight to the death. Dang it. I want to see what the hell you're about. Yo, but like low key, Inosuke, like he fits in so well. I just got to say that. Like he, he just blends in so well in this crowd. Damn, Tengen told us to shut up. Like, do not talk, man. You're about to fucking expose yourself. Um, hello? We've entered the CGI realm. Oh, shit. Oh, it's one of his, his wives. Which one is that, Makio? Oh, yeah, okay, that's Makio. Damn, so she already got caught. Wait, is she here? Is Inosuke about to find her? Yo! Really? Really, you gotta end right there? Goddamn, that episode felt pretty long, though. I'm not gonna front. Like, that episode felt pretty long. Okay, hold on. The ED, though. Hold on, this is kind of vibing. Okay, now it's happy. I was about to say, it kind of gave off a creepy tone. But now it's everything's happy and, and, and smiles, I guess. Dio, that, look at that Tengen backstory right there. I need to see more, dude. Damn, dude, they put all types of frames. Everything looks so smooth right there. Okay, well, we got to see this preview, though, real quick. Damn, even Zanis is like, damn, bro. Like, you you actually look beautiful. What are you? Episode three, okay. Damn, dude, that was it. Uh, okay, that's fine. All right, there, everybody. That was a really cool episode. That was a really funny episode, I think. I think that's the really key word here. Everything was like comedic as fuck and I really liked it a lot. It really showed I guess like you like it like everyone kind of butting heads together and you know Tengen trying to get used to the group and like Zenitsu and Tengen's interactions. It was it was comedy, bro. Um so we're starting to get a little bit more deep into the actual plot. Um, one, we're trying to find all of Tengen's wives, so, like, I guess, like, they got kidnapped, or at least one of them did, Makio. We saw that Makio was kind of, like, I guess, like, strung up by, like, these, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna call them, like, little, like, ribbons or, like, fabric and stuff. Um, I'm gonna assume Daki has her, since she's, like, the only demon I know that is in this part, so I'm gonna assume Daki has her. I don't know if they're specifically in that room that Inosuke is about to go up into, and he's about to go find her and he has to do some shit in there but uh yeah i'm really curious exactly to see exactly how we're gonna fight Daki. since she is an upper moon i don't know if i i mean i'm assuming that she's not on the same level as akaza because akaza's upper three and i think Daki is the sixth spot so she's technically in last place but i don't know if that matters in her power ranking i mean obviously she's an upper moon for a reason so she has to be strong as fuck but yeah i guess we'll find out in the next episode if inosuke has to save makio from daki uh i don't know where the other two are i know one of them committed like the uh i forget the word but basically you know running away from your debts uh and then the other one i don't think they mentioned at all tengen he seems like he's gonna be kind of a little bit of a complex character like i said he has a lot of uh i guess features that are considered negative in comparison to rengoku like he doesn't it, he doesn't really get along with you know the group as well as rengoku did um it, he's like super attractive everyone finds him attractive you know it's like he just has a lot of qualities that are really interesting but you know we saw like in some like scenes in the ending and some scenes in the opening even like he has like some type of traumatic backstory there's like blood on his hands dead bodies everywhere and whatnot and you know he has three wives so i wonder how he came to get his three wives i'm, I'm really concerned about that i mean obviously it's not out of the or, or out of the ordinary to have a polygamous relationship but yeah i'm still curious to see how he managed to you know get with all three of them but yeah i guess we'll find out 
later on in this arc, man. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this episode as much as I did, make sure to leave in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys liked about it. Also, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, guys. It really helps the boy a lot. We're on our way in that 200,000 subscribers together. But nonetheless, hope you guys have a great ass day today. It's been your boy, Avery, and I'm out. Peace.